One of the largest earthquakes on record taking place last night, at least last night, our time here in Colorado, 524 p.m. Our time off the Kamchatka Peninsula of the southeast coast of Russia, magnitude 8.8 .8 magnitude earthquake took place and nearly 6,000 miles away right here in Colorado, you could see the waves from that. Now, this is a seismograph, a way of detecting, measuring earthquakes, and this was taken from Colorado State University, and this is a vertical seismograph, so time goes, uh, in, this is earlier up here, later down here, and this is from yesterday, and notice these waves kind of increasing down towards the bottom. That is a seismograph at Colorado State picking up on that earthquake. Now, of course, here, 6,000 miles away, it was way too far away for us to feel anything as human beings or anything really other than a seismograph. Again, itty bitty waves, but that indeed there is the seismograph also in Divide, Colorado, picking up on that earthquake. And most of the seismographs I was looking at from the state of Colorado able to detect that earthquake. And in fact, it was just such a major earthquake off the coast of Russia that it was the largest globally since March of 2011. That was the Japanese uh, earthquake that prompted the big tsunami uh, out there. And it was tied for the sixth largest earthquake on record as long as it's not revised. And this is the kind of earthquake, a mega thrust. Now, not all earthquakes are created equal, but the reason there was such a high tsunami concern with this particular earthquake is this is a mega thrust, which means you have one tectonic plate going underneath another that forces a dip displacement of water, forces the water to kind of get a little bit upended and it creates a big wave. So this kind of earthquake taking place off the coast and as a mega thrust is what prompted those tsunami alerts. And again, it was big enough that right here in Colorado, we were able to detect it on our seismographs.